Hello and welcome to Brackets Academy. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make a cool uh, hover effect when you hover over an image. Um, a caption is gonna pop up from the left side. So this is how it's gonna look. So here we have the image. We have a sort of like an inside-out border, and when when we hover the image, we're gonna see a caption sliding from the left side. And if you guys want to see more pictures like this, this picture was actually taken by a friend of mine, and I'll put a link to his. Uh, Facebook and Instagram profile down in the description below. So let's start making this uh, cool little uh, hover effect. Here we have one folder called image hover effect. Inside of there we have a style.css page and index.html. And we have one more folder called image, which is going to contain the whole picture. And uh, first we're going to have a div. We're going to add a class. Class wrapper. Inside that div, we're gonna have one more div. We're gonna add a class to outer circle. Inside our outer circle div, we're gonna have an image tags, and the source is gonna be image dash world dot jpg next inside of our other circle div we're gonna have another div this is gonna be the border div so we're gonna add a class to circle border and inside there we're gonna have one more div class will be info circle so inside of our info circle this is going to be the circle that's going to contain all of the informa information about the picture we'll get we'll have a uh, h2 tags and let's say here your title after that we have some p tags here we'll uh, display the content about the picture so and so on and so forth next we'll have a span tags and here we'll have uh, our link and we'll say here read more so let's see if our index.h channel page preview in our browser, this is what we get. So that's it for our index.h channel page. Now we have to move to the style.css page. First we style our wrapper. Let's add margin zero auto. Width will be 250 pixels, 250 pixels and height. It's also going to be 250 pixels. Next, we style our image. So we're selecting our image inside of our wrapper and we're going to set the width and height the same as our wrapper. And save that. This is how that's going to look. So next, we're going to style our outer circle. And here, first thing we have an overflow of hidden. Next, we'll have a border radius of 50%. We'll have a height and width set to 250 as well. Position will be relative. And save that. And now we have the circle, a picture within a circle. So now we move on to the uh, circle that's going to serve as our inside out border. So we're going to select our circle border. First thing, set position to absolute. 
Next, we're gonna have boulder radius of 50% as well. We're gonna have uh, width and height again, but this time we'll have uh, 200 pixels. And we'll add a border, which is gonna be 25 pixels solid and we're going to use an RGBA color to our border with a filter of about 0.5 opacity so let's save that preview it and um, oh yeah we need to center everything out so top position is going to be 50 percent left is also, also going to be 50% and now we'll need to set the margin to offset the margin so we're going to have a margin here of minus um, 1 to 5 pixels 0 pixels again 0 pixels and minus 125 pixels save that when we preview in the browser we have our inside out border applied to our picture Next, we want to style in the uh, info circle. So we'll select that info circle. And we're going to set position. We're going to have position set to absolute. Next, we'll have a background again of an RGBA color with the 0.96 opacity filter applied to the end. And then next, we have a border radius of about 50% as well. Uh, we'll have a width and height of 200 pixels, so it'll be the same as our circle border. Uh, um, it will be actually the same size as our circle border, but without the border, so it's 200 pixels. We'll add uh, transition of about 0 0.5 seconds in, in out. We'll set the top position to 50% and left will be minus 250 pixels. And we'll also have to set the margin, so we'll center everything up. So minus 100 pixels, 0 pixels, minus actually 0 again, and minus 100 pixels. So we're actually, um, what we're actually doing, we, we're using the, the half of the width and height here. So it will be uh, exactly on the center of our outer circle. So that's for the margin. Next, we'll have text align center. Color of our text will be white. Let's try and save that and preview. And if we inspect the element, we'll actually see our info circle right over here. So it's hidden. When we hover over it, we're going to bring it from the left to the right. So now for the hover effect. So when we hover over our other circle, hover, we'll select the info circle, and we're gonna bring it from the left to the to the right. So we'll have a first we'll have a transition again, and now the left will be fifty percent. So we'll be directly on center with the uh, out, with our out, outer circle. So this is how that's gonna look. And now we have to style our uh, span text. So the read more button link will be to the bottom of our info box here maybe we'll raise it for about like 10 or 20 pixels so we're gonna go and select our info circle again and 
this thing we're gonna select the span inside of it we're gonna add a uh, display block width will be 100 pixel uh, percent position absolute and bottom will be 20 pixels and one last thing we'll change the color to our uh, a links so again info circle a color white save that preview and there we have it So that's it for this tutorial guys, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.